welcome to Good Morning ACS for the week of 14th January. I'm Juliana and you're watching this week's news and updates. Happy New Year! We hope everyone's had a great break. Design students went to their respective clients to show their work for feedback and reflection. Grade 7 students showed their stop motion video to Grade 2 to teach ATL skills. Grade 9 students showed their games in Scratch to the Grade 3 students. On Sunday, Grade 6 students were visited by the Ministry for a Cybersecurity Lesson. All the teams are training hard for the new year. Be sure to support the Wolves in 2024. ASA registrations opened on Tuesday 9th of January and will close at the end of the day, Monday 15th of January. You can register, register through your PowerSchool account. Welcome back to Book Talk. To ring in the new year, here is 2023's Goodreads Best Books in 15 general genres. For fiction, we have Yellowface by R.F. Kuang. Historical fiction, we have Wayward by Amelia Hart, which also won Best Debut Novel. Mystery and thriller, we have The Housemaid's Secret by Frida McFadden. In romance, The Happy Place by Emily Henry. Romance to Sea, Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Fantasy, Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. Science Fiction, In the Lives of Puppets by T.J. Klein. Horror, Holly by Stephen King. Young Adult Fantasy, Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Young Adult Fiction, Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. Nonfiction, Poverty by America by Matthew Desmond. In Memoir and Biography, The Woman in Me by Britney Spears. History, The Wager, A Tale of Shipwreck, Mutiny, and Murder by David Grant, and Humor, The Fawns and Beyond by Henry Winkler. Please be advised that many of these books contain mature subject matter. Enjoy reading. Hi, my name is Hope, and thanks for listening to Game of the Week. Rocket League is a vehicular football video game developed and published by Psyonix. The game was first released for Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 4, and with, also, with ports for Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. This game is rated E for everyone. Welcome to Jokes of the Week. What lights up a stadium? A match. <laughs> Why are pirates called pirates? I don't know, because they are. <laughs> I'm terrified of elevator, so I'm going to try to start taking steps to avoid them. <laughs> That's all I have for you today, and I hope you have a great week. There are a lot of ways to help our friends, both in person and online. It could be by saying kind words, being helpful, or even talking to a grown-up if you don't know what to do. An upstander is a person who supports and stands up for someone else. A community is a group of people who share common neighborhood backgrounds or interests. Think about some ways that you can help make others feel welcome in your community. Do you have someone who supports you when you're feeling sad or left out? Are you an upstander? Hey everyone and welcome back to Fun Facts. Today's fun facts are about the AFC Asian Cup. The second oldest continental tournament is the AFC Asian Cup after the Copa America. The team with the most titles is Japan with four titles, and after them are Saudi, 
Saudi Arabia and Iran with three titles. At two meters tall, Australia's Harry Satour will be the tallest player in the tournament. The current Asian Cup champions are Qatar with their win in the 2019 Asian Cup. They are also the host for this year's tournament. Hassan and Haydouz has 175 appearances for Qatar under his belt, making him the player with the most appearances for his national team in the tournament. That's all I have for you this week. Hope to see you next week. Thank you for joining us for your weekly news and updates. If you have an idea for a news story or updates to share, please email us at goodmorningacs at gmail.com. Have a great week.